Right, in this video we're going to uh, graph a piecewise function. In this case it's going to be um, piecewise linear functions. So we want to graph three different lines um, based on these domains. And when you first get into it you might just want to you know, practice graphing the lines like you did back in, in your algebra courses. So if we look at this first one we have f of x or we can call that y equals negative x plus 3. With this line, if we have, back when we did algebra, if we saw y equals mx plus b, we use the slope as the number in front of the x, and then this constant term is our y-intercept. So our slope will be negative 1, our y-intercept will be 3. So I'll just put m equals negative 1 and b equals 3. So there's our slope and our y-intercept, so let's graph that. I don't have my numbers labeled, but we'll use each little piece as one. So our y-intercept is at three, and then our slope is negative one. So you have two options. You can either go up and to the left, or you can go down and to the right. And you can continue doing this if you wanted to, but through time you'll just start to see uh, that once you have a couple of lines and you use a straight edge such as your ruler or something like that you can make a line with a few dots. So for right now I'm just going to graph it and I'm going to ignore the whole piecewise part of this. So there's my line going through those dots. Again our slope is uh, negative one and our y intercept is three but we don't want to use this whole line. This is where the piecewise part comes in. We only want to use this line for values of x that are less than or equal to negative 1. If you look down here, any part of this line, all this stuff down here, think about the x values. The x values of all this part from here down to here, all these x values are positive. Think about it, because your x gets bigger as you move to the right. So we don't want to use those because we only want x values that are less than or equal to negative 1, smaller than or equal to negative 1. So let's take this line back a little bit, and we actually only want to use that line starting right there. I'm going to erase these dots, and let's make sure we give a nice solid dot right there. Here's the reason why all the x values on this part of the line. For example, right there, that x value is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That x value is negative 5 right there. That x value is negative 6. That x value is negative 7. This x value right here is negative 2. This x value here is negative 1. So all these x values that are on this line are less than or equal to negative 1. And it will continue on forever in that direction. It's important to have a, to, I guess, exaggerate that closed dot right there because it is less than or equal to negative 1. So we want to make sure we include the negative 1 and everything to the left. That's going to be our first part of our piecewise. Our second part, f of x, or we can say y, is equal to 2. This is an example of, we, uh, I use when we have y equal to some number, uh, I called it a hoy, and, and we'll look at that, or we'll talk about that some more in class, but um, it's a horizontal line. And we want to use this horizontal line here. I'm going to graph the whole thing as if I'm ignoring the piecewise. Look anywhere on that red line. What's the y value? What's f of x? The y value is equal to 2 here. The y value is equal to 2 way over here. The y value is equal to 2 here. That's why we have a horizontal line, because the y value will always equal 2 anywhere on that red line. However, we want to only use this line when negative 1 is less than x and x is less than 2. So let's slide this line over to right here. The reason why I'm sliding it to there is because we want values, basically this means you want x values between negative 1 and 2. But we don't want to include negative 1 or 2 since we don't have the equal to symbol. 
So we want to emphasize an open circle here at negative 1 for our x value. And now we need to come from the other direction. And we want to stop when x is 2 and let's put an open circle on 2 as well. So again, we're looking at f of x, which is y. y is equal to 2 for any x value between negative 1 and 2. And if you notice, all these y values on this line are 2, and we are between negative 1 and positive 2 for our x values. So that's the second part of our piecewise. Now the third part of our piecewise, y equals 2x. In this case, we have a slope equal to 2, and we don't see anything after that. We don't see a constant, so we could almost assume it to be plus 0. So therefore, our y-intercept, our b, is going to be 0. So I go to 0, which is the origin, and our slope is 2. So we can go up 2 and to the right 1, up 2 and to the right 1, up 2 and to the right 1. You could even go down 2 and to the left 1. So our dots look something like that. Now let's go ahead and graph this line. It's green enough. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start it right here because I know I'm getting ready to erase some of that. But again, I'm just continuing my line on, going through my dots, up to right one, up to right one, up to right one. Just like a while ago, we want to erase some of this graph as well. We only want to use this f of x equals 2x for x values that are greater than or equal to 2. All these x values here are negative. Even the y values are, but I'm just focusing on the x. These x values here, all these are negative, so we don't want to use them. x values are still negative, x values are still negative. The x value here is 0. Now our x values are starting to get positive and we want to start this line right here. The reason why we want to start that line right there is because that is where x is equal to 2. The x value at that dot is 2. And then as we move to the right, our x values are getting greater than or equal to 2. And it goes on forever in that direction. Let's clean up these old dots here. And now make sure you emphasize a solid line or a solid dot for this one as well since it is uh, e greater than or equal to 2. And this is what our piecewise looks like for this example. Um, and as you can see, it is broken up into pieces, hence a piecewise. But uh, later on down the road, we might not do all lines. As you can see, we did all linear functions here, but we might do some parabolas mixed with some lines and things like that. But uh, that's it for that one, and I hope that helped.